Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura Win here, back with my Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 2, Brave New World Let's Play. Last time, a lot happened. Chloe got to participate in the Tempest play with Rachel, which was pretty cool. They then hung out outside talking about their plans to leave home. So yeah, pretty cool. And now, while Rachel's upstairs packing stuff away secretly, we have to... Hang out with her parents, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Oh. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? Hmm. That's like cheating asshat 101. Yeah. Poor Rachel. <sighs> hmm. Guess we can talk to her father about that, can't we? Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Um... Rachel. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Um, district attorney. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> <laughs> what would you be arrested for? Hmm. It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Yeah, that's not. The play. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh. I just meant the wizard part. Ah, <laughs> uh, I suppose that's also true. Hmm. Gotta go. Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Thanks for talking. Now to speak to Mrs. Amber. Yes. Oh, this. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Crossword puzzles. I could improve it. Hmm. Now I'll leave it. Hi, Mrs. Amber. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Um. Rachel. So. <laughs> Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. <laughs> Me too. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Yeah. But hey, you two are good friends. It works. Um, Mr. Amber. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. <laughs> that must be tough. What about married uh, like that? What's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. Except you gotta uh, keep up a good a public image. Secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney client privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. Right. How about the play? Pretty yeah. good, huh? What did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? 
To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Too true. Shots fired, Shakespeare. <laughs> Any table? So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. <laughs> You're a riot, Chloe. <laughs> Alright, Chloe. I guess that's a good thing. the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Hmm. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Really? Ah. Oh. Can't tag this while well, Rachel's mom is right there. Oh. She totally bust me. True. Hmm. I'll figure that out later, I guess. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Mikey. Oh dang, he had to go to surgery? Really? Wow. <laughs> okay. That injury must have been really bad. With you. Photo. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. What table does she... Ah, here we go. Let's look around first. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Probably. Plates. Gently, Chloe, you don't want to accidentally break them. Uh oh. Sorry, Joyce. I don't think she will come home. At least, not yet. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so what do we do? Something else? Ah. Ah. I thought there'd be something else after. Duty calls. <laughs> Hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Hey. Huh. Maybe we go talk to her again? Let her know the table's set? Yes, Chloe? What next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? Sure. That's I will easy. be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be <laughs> fine. Yeah. Something else? What do you want to drink? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. <laughs> Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. 
Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hmm. Besides me? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her? Don't want to give away we know the truth. Hmm. <laughs> Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Could be, Mr. Ammer. Uh, thanks. I think. <laughs> All right, back to Mrs. Amber, I guess. Yes, Chloe? He wants sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? <laughs> Good one. Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. All right, easy enough. Let's get a glass and set it on the table. Glasses. Damn. The wow. embers are fancy as shit. Those are pretty fancy. Uh... It's the triangle shape one. Basic gotcha. shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Alright. Now. Where should we set it? There we go. <laughs> okay. What's next? Yes, Chloe? Is there anything more to do? What else? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? <laughs> you are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I- I think. Yeah. <laughs> Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. <laughs> Right. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, nothing, right? <laughs> we'll see. Quiet. How awkward. <laughs> so, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Hmm. Not anymore. Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Nah. That's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. I save. <laughs> the way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Um... It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. <laughs> it's certainly troubling. 
The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks, Mrs. Amber. Thanks. That's kind of you. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. That's Fam pretty ironic coming from you. Family's not really a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Rachel's holding her tongue so hard. Um, let's calm Rachel down. There's a time and a place. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. <gasps> yes, indeed. Not <sighs> one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Uh. Um. Distract. <laughs> ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. Oh, boy. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You oh, boy. lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? Dang, Rachel. We saw you yesterday. <laughs> At the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Hmm. Think we saw? Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not Ooh. welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's hey. enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. That's so rude. Oh boy. Rachel is gonna explode. <laughs> Dang. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop <laughs> lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? Okay. Her mom? Are you cereal? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, that was a plot twist I did not see coming. And I guess that's where they're leaving this. Okay. Wow. This episode was hella good. I really enjoyed it a lot. Way better than the first one. Again, not that I didn't enjoy the first, because it was really good. And, if you're still and set the story up and everything, of course. But this? 
whole new level. This is on the level of something the original Life of Strange would have done. And I applaud you, Deck Nine, for doing so. That was awesome. This whole episode was awesome. Oh, dang. I am, I'm excited to see where episode 3 goes. I might skip the credits just so I can see the teaser. Because I've got to see. Oh, poor Joyce. Yeah, she's not home. <sighs> you just can't get behind her and David. What a good episode, seriously. That wildfire, I wonder how much further it's gonna come. <laughs> when you broke my Aww. chest And if you're in love That was sweet you are the lucky one Cause most of us are bitter Oh, that was for great. someone Setting fire to our insides for fun Oh, here's that woman to Again you know, ironically, I did think she looked a little like Rachel. A little. I just figured it was coincidence. Turns out not. <laughs> that was really good. <sighs> okay. I hate to do it, but I do want to skip the credits to see the teaser for the final episode. Can we? Yes, exit. Okay. And let's see it. Let's see the teaser. Shit. 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 Okay. Well, that was brief. But that concludes this let's play of episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm guessing episode 3 will be in December. And I'm highly looking forward to it. So yeah, but until then, see you guys next time.